So to import 3D models from Sketchfab into Blender, first launch your Blender and then go to this website where you can find the Sketchfab add-on for Blender. I'll put the link in the description section for this add-on. The author is this one. Scroll down and you can find the zip file here for the plugin. So download the zip folder and you can use it as the usual Blender add-on. So go back to your Blender and to install the add-on, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, then Install and search for the folder you, you saved the downloaded plugin, then Install. Finally, you need to check this box to make sure it works. Now it's ready. You can find the Sketchfab add-on on this side. One thing you need to do is you need to activate the add-on. So to activate the add-on, you need to enter your email and password of the Sketchfab, which you created earlier on the Sketchfab website. So once you're you log in your details. Now you are logged in. So here you can see that you have different options. For instance, you can search whatever you like to to get models from Sketchfab. I'll search for car, for instance, and here it will display different car models that are available for download. If you click on the image you'll see that you have various options that you can import from the uh, Blender add-on. So you can also click here for next page here and you can uh, proceed like this to see all the available options that are available for in this case for uh, different vehicle options so i'll just click on this one for instance and you have different descriptions of the model so uh, the model size is 8.25 megabytes so to import this into blender just click this button it takes a while to import it and this will depend on the file size also. Now here on this section you can see the model is imported. So to zoom in you can press the dot sign. So as you can see we have successfully imported a car model into our Blender working station. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope uh, do you find this tip useful? If you like the video, please uh, make sure to like and subscribe the channel. I'll see you next time with another Blender tutorial. Thank you for watching. Take care.